Good morning, Lions, and everyone in West Palm Beach. I'm Bree Taylor. And I'm Franco Cuomo. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Kings, Kings TV. TV. It feels so great to be back into the swing of things here at the Lions Den, and our students are back on the grind. Yeah, our football team's been hard at work these past few months. Let's go over to CPRO to hype us up for the rest of the season. My name is Ron Lee, head football coach for the Kings Academy Lions. Our goals are simple, take it one day at a time, be 1-0 at the end of the day. I remember in the Pop Warner League back in California where I'm from, um, I enjoyed playing it because every game we won, our head coach would take us out for pizza. Um, 25 years later, I always stop by that pizza place if I'm out recruiting or back home visiting. Goodness. I have some fun memories from that time in my life. My name is Will Pritchard. I'm in 11th grade and I play quarterback for the Kings Academy. Our team's goals are to just go 1-0 and every week, be the best team we can be. Uh, my personal goals at the end of this year are to be a better teammate, better leader, and just work on my mental aspect of the game. Coach Lee has left a huge impact on me. I've known him since I was in second grade, ever since I was just running around, being with the team. He always showed constant love towards me, and we kind of have a love-hate relationship, but more on the love side, and I'm truly, truly thankful for him. Something different this season that didn't happen last year was the atmosphere of the team. Like, we're brothers and we're gonna go to war with each other and have a great time and have fun while we're playing ball. This upcoming senior class has left a huge impact on me because most of them are my friends and I've known them since kindergarten, playing peewee football with them. So I'm gonna really miss them when they, uh, when they leave. So I'm Kyle Garcia, I'm in 12th grade and I play offense and defense line. What hasn't happened this year, like I don't think it's happened in the past. I think like our seniors are really close and like the whole team's like really close more than usual. Coach Lee's impact on me as like a player and then as a person off the field is insane. Like he let me uh, become like a leader and uh, his knowledge for the game is so vast. I'm Steven Scroggins. I'm in 12th grade and I play linebacker. Man, I just want to be a good teammate uh, every season. I just want to be with the young guys and, and lift them up. You know, if you have a big game, 20 tackles or something like that, people aren't going to remember that as much as like if you make a big impact off the field. As a senior especially, you don't want to take any game for granted. You want to just have as much fun as you can every week and hopefully win some games along the way. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, the Shargans family has kind of left a legacy here and it's really fun to be a little part of that and they definitely impacted me as a leader and as a player. Go TK. Thanks, C-Pro. Our boys have been hard at work. Make sure to tune in to tonight's game versus Somerset Academy. You wouldn't want to miss it. With football season underway, homecoming is quickly approaching. Be sure to purchase your shirts by September 9th. Also, be sure to purchase your tickets for Mary Poppins. Speaking of our conservatory, they have split into two different distinctions, one for digital arts and one for the performing arts. Here's a short video that was released this week to inform you on some of these changes. The point of the conservatory is to help students who are focused in fine arts or digital media arts to draw their attention and focus towards what they're passionate about, what God has made them to do. Inside the Smith Family Conservatory of the Arts, we have two distinctions. We have performing arts and we have digital media arts. In performing arts, some of the concentrations include musical theater, instrumental arts, vocal arts, visual arts, and dance. And in digital media arts, we focus on journalism and film production. So we're really excited because we get to offer our students really great quality education as well as transform their hearts through love and for Christ. And so we are blessed at the King's Academy to be a part of it. The first thing I'm looking forward to is starting this new year off with this brand new team with there's a lot of great energy. Uh, the faculty's excited, the students are excited, and we're ready to produce again live performances. Back to Christmas, back to Grandparents Day, back in the theater. So I'm really excited about that. We're excited to have you back in the theater this year. We can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Don't forget, we have Rush next week, Thursday and Friday. And Night of Worship on Wednesday at 7.30. I'm Bree Taylor. And I'm Franco Cuomo. Have, have a, a great, great day, day, TK. TK.